wine for the month of February. It's exciting because we get to talk all about love. God made us to love, the greatest love. He made that clear when he sent his son Jesus to show us how to give and receive his love. When Jesus walked the earth, he was God's love in the flesh. Jesus showed us time and time again that he loves us. That's why our focus this month is the powerful truth that Jesus loves me, which he loves you. We were all made for his love. We are going to have fun playing in our very own Champions Club Big Sandbox. I want you all to know that Jesus is your friend and he is inviting you, every single one of you, to join him because he loves you. Everyone can play in our big sandbox. I want you to live knowing and believing, never doubting, that you are loved by the greatest love and nothing will ever change that. After all, this is what we were made for. You were made for his love. In this lesson, we will do seven things. First, we will have worship. Next, we will listen to our Bible story told by our buddies. Then, we will watch our Bible video, followed by WH time to answer small group questions. We will then practice our monthly Bible verse and make a craft. Lastly, we will talk to God by praying. Hey, hey, champions. Welcome to February, the month of love. We're going to learn all about Jesus and how much he loves us. When I say, who loves you? You say, Jesus loves me. Here we go. Who loves you? That's right. Jesus loves me. All right. We're going to sing all about him. We're going to learn a little bit about him. So get ready. We're going to sing a whole lot of love going on around here. Now, here we go. On your feet. Clap your hands. Stop and sing. Here we go. Jesus loves you a whole lot. Of His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset. His love is still forgiving me. And it's all. Hey y'all, it's Mr. Mark, and I'm having so much fun. Look what I have over here. It is heavy. 
It's heavy. I'm gonna let you see what's inside here. I'm gonna okay. put it down right here. Look what I've got right here. Woo! This is pretty cool. This is some serious business here. I am in here in a park, and I have having so much fun because I have my very own Champions Club sandbox. That's why I was lifting that heavy thing right there. Hey, look, I got my little shovels here, and I got my little buckets. Do you love playing the sand in the park? I just love it. I remember when Mr. Mark was in elementary school, we would build like these really cool forts, and then we would make like, you know, little, little things. Sand that castles. Sand castles. Thank you, Miss, Miss Trisha. Sand castles. And we like dig underneath and like we'd have, we'd tunnel through and like we sneak our Max Box and Hot Wheels cars and we would like race them through right there. Look at right here. So when I needed more sand, oh, this is really, this feels really good. This is just like, I think I could build a building with this sand. It's like really good cement sand. Look right here. I've got sand in my bucket. And I'm going to add a little bit more over here. I got sand in my bucket. I'm going to add a little bit more on my on my castle grounds. I'm going to see how, how high I can make my, my castle. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I'm getting up. Okay. There's one castle. There's one tier. I'm making another one over here. Surfing USA. Skeet shooting USA, like in that, in that silly movie. Oh, I just love sand. Oh, I need some more here. I got all kinds of buckets right here. I got a red one and a yellow one. I need some more sand. Oh my goodness, I need, oh, look at this. Oh, I won't just forget it. I'm just gonna dump it on. <laughs> this is so much fun. Woo, look at that sand. I love sand. I love playing in sand. I love being in sand. Oh, just kind of the opposite there of uh, that Jedi Master, you know, Manic and Skywalker who hated sand. Oh, I just love sand. It's so much fun. Anyway, I can't stop playing with this sand. It's just so much fun. But I need more. Ha! Huh. Just like, just like anybody, whenever you have lots of candy or anything like that, you just need more and more and more. So I thought about it. I thought about some, and I am going to go figure out how to get some more and uh, make this sand box even bigger. And we could build even bigger sand castles. Oh my goodness. Miss Carrie is gonna teach you a Bible lesson right now. And I am gonna get some more for my big blue bucket. I'll be right back, y'all. Hey guys, it's me, Miss Carrie. And it's time to hear a true story straight from the Bible. Today's true story begins with Jesus and a really big crowd of people who had come to hear him teach. Now, this story can be found in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verses 15 and 16, okay? Now, in this crowd, there were some very, very important people. Whew, it seemed like everyone wanted to hear what Jesus had to say. So there were moms and dads, and aunts and uncles. There were scientists. Let me show you this. Oh, scientists. You know how they're looking for clues and they're studying things? Ooh. There were scientists. There were doctors. Oh, we need our band-aids and we need our gauze to wrap up our boo-boos, right? Okay. And there were fishermen. Oh, I got my fishing pole and there's my fish. Look, it's purple. A purple fish. I love purple. Can you guys guess who the very important people were in the crowd to hear Jesus? Okay. Well, you guys, the doctors and the scientists, now these are good guesses, but Jesus teaches us something different. The very important people who were there to see Jesus that day were actually the children. The children in the crowd that day, they wanted to see Jesus too. But Jesus' disciples, they stopped them. Hmm, no, 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 they said. The disciples told the children to stop and go away. Do you think Jesus wanted the children to go away? Right, no way, huh? Jesus called the children to him, and you know what he said? He said, let the little children come to me. So they did. Jesus opened his arms wide, and the children came. 
Jesus told the crowd to never stop children from coming to see him because you guys, children are very important to him. So did you guys hear that champs? Now watch and say, I am important to Jesus. Can you do that with me? Say, I am important to Jesus. Oh, and you know what? He loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. So when I ask who loves you, I want you to say, Jesus loves me. You ready? Let's do it. So who loves you? Say, Jesus loves me. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. Oh yes, he does, champs. So you guys, Jesus, he loves you, and Jesus loves me so much. So don't forget it. See you guys next time, champs. Bye. Did you guys hear that? Who's coming? Who? Who? Ollie, Ollie the Owl, he's coming. Let's go. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Jane. Oh, hi, friends. Stormy, look, it's our friends. You'll have to forgive her. She got a new toy, and as you can tell, it's very squeaky. She loves it. Don't you love it, Stormy? So today's story is about some very important people who came to see Jesus, and Jesus loved those people even more than Stormy loves her squeaky toy. So the true story from the Bible begins with Jesus about to teach a crowd of people. Wow, that's a lot of people. It seems like everyone wanted to hear what Jesus had to say. Now see if you can spot the very important people who came to see Jesus. There were lots of adults, moms and dads and aunts and uncles. There were teachers and doctors and carpenters and fishermen and Stormy Jane. Wait, Stormy Jane, you weren't in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. <gasps> Look, I see the very important people. There they are. It's children. They wanted to go see Jesus too. But Jesus' disciples stopped them. No, 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 they said. The disciples told the children to stop and go away. But Jesus called the children to him and said, let the little children come to me. So they did. Jesus opened his arms wide and the children came. Jesus told the crowd to never stop children from coming to see him because children are very important to him. Did you hear that, friends? You are important to Jesus. He loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. Hey, y'all. Uh, I got some, some more sand. This should be about right. Oh, oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. That is a full sandbox. I love it. Okay, y'all. I got my sand in the sandbox. And now I heard that story about Miss Carrie talking about the children. Wasn't that a great story about how Jesus loved the children? I love sand. And sand, it's an awesome thing. I love playing in sand. I love making little vroom vroom with my cars through the, through, the, through the sand derbies. But I think, and I know, that Jesus loves me so much more than I love my sandbox. And he loves the little children so much more than he loves his sandbox. He loves all the championship kids, the champions, so much more than he loves that I love the sand in the sandbox. I think I got Miss Carrie's lesson. You get it, kids? You got it? Good. All right, here we go. God loves you a lot more than he loves sandboxes. Especially Jesus loves those little children so much more than Mr. Mark loves sandboxes. And Jesus, just like Miss Carrie said, wants to be your forever friend. <laughs> Mr. Mark doesn't know sign language very well, but I'll just do it again. Your forever friend. It goes on and on and on and on. All right. I'll see y'all next time. See you later, alligator. After Wild Crocodile. 
Hey champs, Mr. Matt here. What a cool story from Miss Carrie. What a funny introduction from Mr. Mark and his sand and playing all that. I used to do that too. Digging a tunnel and then taking your car or I had GI Joes back in the day. Ooh, action figures, so much fun. All right, but guess what time it is. If you said it's time to board the question train, you are right, all aboard. <laughs> all right, we have four questions. Number one, number two, number three, <laughs> and number four. Question numero uno, who loves you? Well, I'm sure there's lots of people that love you because you guys are very, very special. We all here at Champions Club, we love you guys. But in our story, there's someone very special who loves you. And that person is Jesus. So who loves you? Jesus loves you. He loves you so much and he wants to be your friend forever and ever and ever. Can you imagine being with Jesus forever? How awesome. All right, good job. Number two, who were the very important people in the crowd? Well, there were doctors and there were scientists with their magnifying glasses and there were fishermen catching fish and feeding people. But if you remember what Miss Carrie told us about what Jesus said, Jesus said the children are the most important. So when Jesus, when he looks down and he sees all of us here, you guys, the children are very important to him. So who were the very important people in the crowd? Well, Jesus said, that children, that you guys are the very important people. There you go. All right, good job. Question number three. What did the disciples do? They said, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> they were not very welcoming of the children. But that leads us to question number four. What did Jesus say to the disciples? Well, he told them to let the children come to him. Jesus said, let the children come to me. And he opened his arms wide and gave them all big hugs. So he said the disciples were wrong to turn the children away. So what did Jesus say to the disciples? He said, let the children come to me. So that means you guys can know that whenever maybe you feel a little sad or scared, that you can run to Jesus and that he will have his arms open to embrace you. How amazing of a story. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, champions, I hope you guys had fun on the question train. And we'll see you next week. Champions, Mr. Matt here, and our first stop aboard the love train is our memory verse for the month. It is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. It says, a friend loves at all times. Let's say that one more time. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Time for our next stop. Hey champs, it's me, Miss Carrie. It's time to do our craft today. What are we making? Let's see. Oh, look you guys, it kind of looks like a Valentine, doesn't it? But you know what? Our story today was all about this love that Jesus has for children. So how perfect is this? It's the month of February, right? So we're gonna make a, a heart Valentine that says, let the little children come to me. That's what he said. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And with a toilet paper, dispenser roll. I'm going to show you how to make hearts. Okay? That's amazing. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Just kidding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and we're going to lay it down. Now I chose pink. Maybe you're going to do purple or you're going to do a red, but I think picking a lighter color is good because then your hearts are going to show up real well. Now you're going to take a white piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half. Just like this. Now, Miss Carrie's been making hearts for many years, so I can do this without drawing, but if you need to, just take your pencil and draw half of a heart, okay? Your family can show you how to do that. But instead, let me show you. I'm gonna go here at the bottom. 
I'm gonna go up on an angle, I'm going around, and I'm curling it in just like this. Let me show you. And here's my heart. See, now if you guys wanna leave it plain like this, you can, or you can get a little fancy, close it back up. You take your scissors and you just kind of go in and out like this. You make little swirls. And it kind of gives it like a fancy um, little ribbon look around the size of your heart. Hold on, we're almost there. All right, let's see what it looks like. There it is. What do you guys think? You like it? Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write our message on here first. And what is the message? It's let the little children come to me, okay? So we're gonna say let the little children come to me. Okay guys, so if you notice, I did a little fancy border around it. I did dots and dashes all around the sides. Maybe you're gonna do like shapes like triangles and squares. Do a cool pattern around the side of it if you want to, okay? And when you're ready, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue stick and you're gonna put glue all over the back of your heart, just like this. And you're gonna put it right in the middle of your colored paper here, okay? Just like that, see? Now I know it's a little plain, but when you take time and really decorate, you know what? Some people are putting sequins on this, I've heard. You can do little pom-poms or little Valentine stickers, anything that shows God's love, that would be perfect. All right, now the colors that I have today, I have a little bit of purple. I'm gonna pour some right here on my paper. A little bit of white. And I have a little bit of red. These are my Valentine love colors. Okay. Now, this is the cool part. We're not using a paintbrush today. So you guys, you know what these are? These are our toilet paper rolls, right? Now look at it, it's a circle, right? All you have to do is give it a little bend right here at the top and we're gonna start squeezing it and then we're gonna pinch the bottom so it has the arch. And the next thing you know, it's a heart. Can you guys see that? All right, so what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna start with purple. You guys, Miss Carrie loves purple. It's my favorite color. So I'm gonna start there first. I'm gonna smear it around just like this. Get a lot of pink there. See it now? You can see it better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping my paper. You guys, this is so much fun. I'm gonna put purple on both sides just like that. Now, the cool thing is you can take the other side and you have another spot to do a heart. This one I'm gonna make red, okay? So I'm gonna stamp it all over just like this. And let's see, I'm gonna put a red one over here, just like that. Oh, that one's a little bit squishy. Let me try it again. It's fun, you guys, to use different materials than our paintbrushes. Now, you notice I have white on my paper. You can do a white heart if you want to after this dries, or we can get really fancy. <gasps> what color do we make when we mix red and white together? What color, guys? That's right, we have pink. Good job. Let's see how this shows up. That looks like it's pink. All right, you guys. What do you think? Let me show you. It's a little different, huh? See, does that look like fun? Okay, guys, you have a great week making this with your family. And you guys, don't use paintbrushes. Be creative, use the toilet paper roll and uh, make some hearts. And remember, every time you stamp with that heart, Say, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, okay? He loves you guys, all right? I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, champs, it's Miss Carrie. It's time for our prayer time. Let's fold our hands and let's bow our heads and let's talk to Jesus, okay? Dear Jesus, we thank you for this new month of February, and it's a love month. Lord, we're gonna be reminded of how much you love us and you want us to be our friend forever and ever. And we are gonna be learning about that special love you have and how you want us to come to you with anything that we have on our heart because you are our forever friend and we just love you, God. Be with our champs, be with our church, and just bless our month together. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. There are lots of ways to stay connected with us during the week on our website, scgchurch.org, 
Facebook, and Instagram. Be sure to tag us so we can be a part of your church at home worship experience. How can we pray for you? Call or text your prayer request to 714-750-9222. Or you can email scgkids at seacoastgrace.org. We'll see you next week.